Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about editing instruction today in Vegas, and uh, some tips and tricks about taking an old video and recutting it uh, for your YouTube channel, or something similar. It doesn't have to be YouTube. This is something I made a long, long time ago. Um, I think I mentioned in it that it would be edited with Vegas. Um, that was back when I actually did Vegas tutorials on this channel. And I mentioned it would have, I edited it in Vegas 15, so it, it was a while back. And if you look at the watch time minute, it dives immediately. Only really the first 30 seconds is a, in like a gauge of like how interested are people in this video. And during that 30 seconds, it dives so fast that really by 43 seconds in, less than half of the people who started are still watching. And then really only about 20% of people watch the middle of it and then it just drug on. This is the video now recut. And so let's pull the video down and I'm gonna pull it down into its own track here. I put it in the very top because I've done some track work and things. We're not gonna watch the video. I'm just gonna give you some notes about problems with the video to help you identify problems with your video um, and, and and talk about like editing things that we can do to fix these problems uh, and to give the video a better chance of life. So first off, uh, you know, if you knew anything about NES is I thought blowing on a cartridge uh, and kind of putting it to the camera would be a funny little intro here. Um, so let's let's watch it real quick. Okay, yeah, that was a mistake too. So first off, I didn't even cut the beginning. I cut it too close <laughs> to where I messed up there. So Hello, welcome to Tech Dive. I've been hearing a lot of talk about the NES Classic, but I've not been hearing enough talk about the Classic NES. All right, that really sums up the majority of the problems here. So, um, one, this is way too long. It's not funny enough, um, and and by here, everyone's clicked away. Two, uh, I, I did this 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Uh, uh, I thought it would be funny to everybody. The thing is, is like, now that I have an editing channel, you know, uh, this channel, um, when I do a joke like that in the intro, people get it because, yeah, I, the, the joke matches the audience, right? Um, but when I did a joke like that in this intro, um, you know, an editor would go, oh, look, a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. He made it look like an interlaced screen. It's like matching like how this would have, you know, would have been in the time period this this console was made uh but but most people aren't editors this is just to them just some sort of fancy effect and so uh they don't think it's cheeky and funny um and then i start talking over it the tan the this logo for the other channel has changed this is no longer called tech dive it's called space dodo bad name or not that's what it is and um uh, so that's got to go. And then, uh, as you notice too, the little brief bit, I let it talk over it. The music, I EQ'd it just awfully, just so bad. It, the music is way too loud. And then if you watch the video too, there's just time periods where I've just spent way too much time in between some things. And there's some times where a few simple edits can kind of juice up uh, the fun of the video. So, um, like I said, I d we don't have time to sit here and watch the whole thing, uh, and the, the whole bad one, the whole good one. Um, so I'm trying to give you a good little snippet of what I'm actually changing here, so you can take these snippets with you. So uh, in the beginning here, I actually have a part where I interface with my cat at the end, and cats are a great hook to a video, any video. Okay, so she doesn't do this on purpose, nor do I plan this. She sneaks in here when I am filming because she just misses me so much. So there we go. That um, that's my cat joining me, and that's a good way to give me some personality and disarm the viewer a little bit before we get started. But you can't spend too long on the intro. You can like this is this is less than ten seconds. That's always my rule: less than ten seconds. Um, then I cut out this whole thing just to be one. I've been hearing a lot of talk. And then so this you know, and I even sped it up. So that's one of the things I did. I used a control uh, control crunch move to speed it up. So that way, it, I could just get right to the joke. I've been hearing a lot of and then it fades right in. I cut out the intro, and I show an interesting part of the video with my new title. So if you see here, the voice of me talking is the voice right here. Um, but 
uh, if I slid this back out, it would turn back into Tech Dive. Um, so I cut out the intro, and then I put a section where my head's cut off there, so it doesn't matter that my voice isn't matching. Uh, and uh, the NES kind of freaking out to kind of give a little hint of like, you know, we are going to see this on, uh, we're going to see some fun things about this. Uh, and I dropped my logo uh, in 3D space too. So the logo here, um, to make it match the TV, I went to the composite modes and I went to 3D Source Alpha, and I actually made this look like it could kind of laid against the TV in depth. Um, so uh, that that's just a simple layering there. And uh, oh, and I pixelated this too. Uh, if you go to the video effects, it's got pixelate on it. Just just you know something simple to kind of make it feel a little frazzled with the rest of that pixelated screen. All right, so I had to give a little note too. Uh, there's a time change where something I said just didn't sound right anymore. Uh, so I had to clarify that this was filmed a long time ago. And then, um, so then we get into the fun. The beginning of the video was strong, um, but now later in the video, uh, there, we're going to talk about two tricks I did to kind of chop up the end here. So I turned this 20 minute video into a eight minute video, almost about seven and a half minutes. And um, first off, I did content. If I repeated myself, if I just drug on too long, if some, when you watch something later, you realize some things you thought were endearing were very much not endearing. If you're doing the same thing over and over again, cut it out. But, you know, it's okay to leave pacing to have a moment where things might lull for a second. I'm not saying it's got to be 100% all the time, but... A lot of times the lull is dangerous. You got to be real careful about how much lull you leave in. So a lot of this is lull cut out. And so right here too, you see some things. Uh, I did something where I talk about actually putting the console, the cartridge in. So, so I just did a simple zoom in on me putting the cartridge in. And when I cut out the me, the longer parts of me putting it in and and getting it going and stuff and because what's interesting there is how this me mechanism actually works and so uh, so sometimes I zoomed in on me hitting it um, if their eye isn't naturally guided to the interesting part you as an editor can do simple things like zooming in to guide their eye so the music was too loud um, good thing is I didn't leave music on through the whole thing so where I didn't have music I left the music out um, but where I did have music uh, in the intro I needed to go in to this track here and first thing I did is I put a limiter on it um, to make to soften the whole track and then um, and that's just from this drop down here I grabbed the limiter uh, and then for the track EQ here's something I did the music had a lot of bass and stuff and the bass was pretty strong and I think I actually artificially bumped the bass so I actually lowered the bass uh, but if the voice your voice is kind of sits about right here um, I actually popped up the part of my voice that wasn't coming through very clearly I popped that up so I would pop up not as much music but as much of my voice as I can and then I also right here it was kind of muffled at points so this got rid of some muffling popping up some higher frequencies so this is this is your voice this is muffling this is high tones. Uh, you, the music had high tones and had low tones so I did what's called a roll off where you take the beginning and the end and you just kind of let it roll up and down to kind of choke out. Uh, roll off is good for voices because voices don't usually have super low or super high tones. Um, so boom, that helped mute the music some while I helped kind of push my voice up. Now this isn't um, the best EQ in the world. An audio guy would look at this and go, oh, oh, because they try not to like artificially bump things. They would rather do it different ways. But as a video guy, I think this is Plenty good. It accomplished my purpose. My voice came through a lot clearer now, if you listen. So the music's still too loud, but it, it does kind of reduce that issue. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you um, kind of repurpose and retool some of your older videos that may have been uh, canned, uh, just never got any views. Uh, videos that you thought had some life in them, but maybe your editing skill didn't reflect the life in them. Because, um, yeah. You know what? Uh, at the time, I was doing editing tutorials, and I tell you what, this is a bad edit. I looked at it, and I was like, wow, how did I do this? Why did I do this? Um, but it happened. So thanks for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more editing tips like this one or just how to learn more about Vegas Creative Software.